we're going to have a look at how we can write scientific notation for small numbers. We have two numbers here that are written in scientific notation. They have a single digit before the comma. But the difference here is now you've got the exponent being a negative. How does that change things? Well, we know what a negative exponent means. This means 3 comma 2 1 times 1 over 10 to the 4. And so actually what we have is 3 comma 2 1 divided by 10 to the 4. So let's take 3 comma 2 1 and divide it by 10 to the 4 to see what we get out as our answer. So dividing by 10 will move the comma there and then another 10 and then another 10 and then another 10. So we'll end up with a comma over there. So we just need to put in some zeros and we'll see that what we get here is 0, 0,000321. This one here, again, what you've got is 9,687 divided by 10 squared. So we've got to take our 9,687 and divide it by 10 and then divide it by another 10. So divide by 10, divide by another 10. Your comma is going to go there. So what you'll get is 0, 09687. So you can see, for example, here that this number is a lot smaller than this number because here you're dividing by 10 to the power of 4, which is a really big number, whereas here you're dividing only by 10 squared, which is just dividing by 100. Okay, let's just quickly go the other way. So what if I wanted to take a number like this one? and turn it into scientific notation. Well, if I want it in scientific notation, I want it to be written as 2 comma 5 multiplied by 10 to the something. So I wanted that comma to be over there. And so it's one, two, three places away from what it was. So it is 10 to the minus 